Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is obviously going to be on a huge haul. And if you guys want to see what I got, just keep on watching. First item I'm going to go with is this Naked Skin Concealer that I got from Ulta. I'm going to go with this one first because um, I honestly have no bag for it since this is just one item. I just bought it and left. Um, they had a deal with this Naked Skin Concealer. Usually I think the... Um, Retail price is like $25, but it was on sale yesterday when I went for only $13.50. So, and I've been wanting to try this concealer, so I hope I like it, and I was like, why not? So, that's the first item. Um, so, there's so much to choose from. Um, I guess I will start with um the nick store so um this was my first time ever going to the nick store and ever seeing one and it sucks that the mall that i went to for this nick store was like an hour and a half away but from the nick store what i got was they were having like um buy one get one half off for the lip liners so i got one of um two of those um, I got a mauve one and a nude pink one. Literally, this is like, every time I get lip liners, I always get like mauve, nude, pink. Mm. Because that's like most of the lip shades that I own. I finally purchased a white liquid eyeliner where I can do like really cool designs with the eyes and stuff. I've literally been wanting one for the longest, but I just never bought it. And then, um, so I got that. And then I needed to restock on the Matte Liquid Black Eyeliner. This is literally the only eyeliner I ever use. It's so bomb and it dries so quick. And like the way the brush is, it's so perfect for my small eyes because it really gets in there. So I restocked up on that. And then I got another lip liner. And this one is a retractable one. So these weren't having a sale. But then I was just like, I do need more lip um, lip liners. So I just got this one and I forgot how much this one on, it, on its own, but it was for sure less than $5. And then the last item I got from the NYX store was the um, Can't Stop, Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. I heard a lot of good things about this and like... The good thing is like they're so inclusive with their shades so it wasn't really hard for me to find my shade. Their like variety for the shades of this is so perfect like that's what I like about um, this foundation too and I've been also wanting to give it a try and like I love full coverage foundation so you can't really go wrong with that. So that's what I got from the NYX store. Oh and I spent $45 just for these six items at the NYX store. Okay. Um, next we're going to do some clothes. I'll go with this one. So this is a package from Patagonia. Um, if you don't know what Patagonia is, um, it's kind of like North Face and stuff, but a higher end of it. So it came in the mail like literally two days ago. Um, I ordered this one and honestly, you guys can come at me because I agree with you guys. This is not cute. Like... And I'm mad because I ordered two sweaters and this one happened to be the m more expensive one than the other. They were both on sale, but it was so much cuter online. Like, I'm mad. <laughs> and the closest Patagonia is like an hour away in like San Francisco, like Sausalito area. And I'm not going to go all the way out there to return this. So I need to call a customer service up to see if they can do like an online exchange for me or something. So I need to return this one, but I really do think it's so cute. Maybe if it was just in a different color. And yeah, I'm just, I don't know about this one. No comment on this one. Let's see. The other sweater that I got is, I wore this one a few times. It's so cute. It's so, it's like out of my comfort zone. Well, I wore it a few times. That's why it's like unbuttoned. But it's so cute. It's like red and orange and it has like a little tribe like material on the pockets and on like the um, collar area and like it's like the same as um like the same style as this one like it has buttons and a pocket on the side but it's um, fleece material while this one is more of a Sherpa material 
and they're both really warm like I've tried both of them on and I've actually worn this out they're really warm and this one was also on sale and I was gonna get a black one but then also like no I need to get out of my comfort zone a little bit but this one's a little too out of my comfort zone so I'm gonna like mm, I look like a freaking bear with this one on but this one's super cute and how much did I spend at Patagonia I spent a total of $142.03 on Patagonia website. Next is going to be from Marshalls. I didn't get much from Marshalls. Um, as you guys know, Marshalls sells like really high-end um, makeup sometimes if you get lucky. And I actually got really lucky with this one. Um, so at Ulta... Or like, yeah, Ulta, they sell this brand called, I don't know how to pronounce it, but here, I'll show you guys. Like, um, is it Japonsky? How do I say it? Japonsky? Japonisky? Japonsky? Like what? I don't know. I pronounce it, but you saw for yourself. Um... But yeah, they sell these brushes at Ulta, but you guys know how Ulta is. Like, they always overprice um, more than it actually is sometimes. Um, and I found these brushes, and I've been wanting to try out their brushes because I heard a lot of YouTubers talking about it. And I got a really good deal for them. So, I picked up a tapered small powder brush, and this one was $3.99. Oof, excuse me. Oof, excuse me. Oof. Three brushes in a row. Um, and then I also picked up a pointed crease blending brush, and this one was $2.99. And then I also just picked up a cream eyeshader brush, and this one was also $2.99. These three products was $10.94, so basically $11 at Marshalls. So, as you guys know, um... I posted a Pismo vlog. If you guys haven't watched it yet, make sure to go check it out. But um, we did a little shopping over there at Pismo. And in one of the malls we went, I did a little shopping and I went to Con On. I only bought one thing from that mall. Um, and it was this super cute jean jacket. Um, I got it for only half the price. Like, the original price on this was... Um, it's somewhere in there, but the original price was $60 and I got it for only $30, so, like, it was half off. And it's, um, super cute. Like, I like how, like, it doesn't have any holes. It's, like, light, like, denim wash, and it has this cute little Sherpa, um, material on the collar part. I've been wanting one like this, and I actually got a really good deal for it, and it's a little oversized, so this would be super cute to wear with some black jeans or something. Okay, next is Lush. So I went to, it, this was the same mall that um, had the NYX cosmetic store. So don't mind that it's in a Ziploc. It was in the fridge. You have to keep their face masks um, in the fridge and cold. So what I got was a few samples, but the, main, the item that I bought was this Oat Fix face mask. So if you open it up, it just looks like this. It looks a little yellower in the camera, but it's more like pale and looks like oatmeal if you see it in person. But, oh my gosh, guys, I swear the smell is amazing. Like, it smells like banana nut bread. And banana nut bread, it's not my favorite, but it's good. And it's basically banana nut bread in a face mask. Like, it leaves your skin amazing, like... Oh my gosh, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, it it doesn't... I don't think it's supposed to help with acne, but um, this one is more for, like... I forgot, it said in the description at the Lush store, but honestly, I'm not even mad that it's not mainly to help my acne. Like, it leaves my face so soft. Like, you don't even need to, like, moisturize your face after. I still do, but... This leaves your face feeling like a baby's bottom. Like, it's so, so good, and it smells good, and I think this was, like, I think $12. I 
11 or 12 dollars one of those and i totally recommend it if you don't know which um face mask to try at lush um but i honestly wanted to try or i honestly just wanted to buy every face mask but i'm broke so i just got one but this one is amazing next is Daiso. I know I'm not the only one. I know we can all relate to this. Like, I'm pretty sure whatever, whenever it's like a dollar store or like a discounted really cheap store, especially Daiso, you end up spending money on things you don't really need, but you feel like you need and you never knew you needed. You know what I mean? I'm not going to say that I didn't need these things because... I feel like I needed it, but I just didn't know I needed it. But, I mean, it was only, like, it's cheap, you know? So, it's kind of like, you can't really be mad. So, what I got was this cute... Okay, like, it looks like it's just a tote, right? But what's in the tote? Let me tell you. It's a... Let me move this photo. Rain jacket! Now, honestly, I'm honestly never prepared for the rain. I'm always, I always have like some, I don't even have rain boots. I don't, I wear Uggs in the rain and then my Uggs get beat up. And like, this is just so convenient though. Like you can basically wear this on top of any outfit. You know what I mean? Like it's thin, it's easy to carry because it comes in a tote. Like it's, it's so easy for on the go when you, you know, don't really want to wear like a thick coat. That prevents you from the rain when you can just put on this little thin thing, wear it outside real quick for wherever you're going to go, and then take it off whenever you're indoors, you know? Like, I found this so convenient, and look, oh my gosh, I didn't even notice this. It, like, has little, you know? I love it, and it was not $150, let me mention that. You know how almost every store has, like, things that's, like, over a dollar, even though they say it's only a dollar store? But this was $3, which is still very cheap. You can't really be mad at. I just thought this was so cute. It came in other um, other styles too, but I thought this one was just really cute. Um, I honestly want to go back and get the other styles, to be honest, even though I don't need it. But um, Next is, this is one of the random things that I was talking about that you don't need, but you feel like you need. It's fabric softener sheets. Um, it was only a dollar, so it wasn't a dollar fifty, which is a good thing. It only comes with twenty, and I don't know. I just wanted to be extra with my laundry, so I just got that. Next is this little like photo clip holder thing. I thought it would just be like a little cute um, photo clipper card added to where I keep all my photo frames and stuff. That this was a dollar fifty. Um, yeah, this one's kind of random, not gonna lie. Oh, so this is the last item that I got from Daiso, which I'm very excited for. So if you guys know me, um, you guys know I love Birkenstocks, aka Jesus Sandals, Jerusalem 3s, um, literally Bread 11s, you get it? Because Jesus would eat bread and wine. My friends and I went to Daiso. We, um... Which is looking around and then my friend found these. These also came in white, by the way. Um, these were, I think, yeah, these were $4. But I'm not mad at that because basically, um, if you guys know me, you guys know I love Birkenstocks. And I own two pairs already. But before I even wanted, before, before when I didn't have Birkenstocks, I don't know if you guys know, but Birkenstocks has like, um... They, they're made by Birkenstocks, but, like, they have this material, um, but it's, like, $40, and I'm pretty sure that's for, like, the people who are, like, do I really want to spend $100 on Birkenstocks when I can just settle with the $40 one that they made, even though it's, like, styrofoam, uh, material, like, I was one of those people, I was literally gonna settle with that, but... Daiso had them for only $4. Cute, and, like, these can kind of be, like, my beaters, or, like, whenever I don't want to just wear um my Birkenstocks so yeah cop yours at Daiso for only four bucks so these sweats that I'm wearing they're like gray joggers kind of thing don't worry I wash them but these are from Aeropostale they were on sale for the original price was $20 but they were on sale for $15 so I got some of these they're super comfy and thin and like 
but yet they're like breathable and baggy at the same time like i'll give y'all a little like hi hi oh so yeah that's what i got from air Apostle. okay forever 21 couldn't be a haul without forever 21 forever 21 was having like this deal where it was like um damn i'm missing on my bed forever 21 was having a deal where it was like um only on clearance items though so like if it was on clearance for seven dollars or higher it was automatically seven dollars if it was on sale for five dollars to ten dollars it's automatically five dollars if it was on sale for four dollars to five dollars it's automatically four I, that's not the exact price but you guys get my point like it was just automatically that price if it was higher than a certain number for only clearance items let me just mention before i go through each of the items that i got from forever 21 each item in here was seven dollars so let's get it on this item is these palazzo pants they're super cute um they're like look like that um yeah they're like high-waisted kind of which is super cute i can wear like a cute crop top with it or something and like you know it's loose on the bottom on the ankle part um the material is like very thin and breathable which i like and like Here's the pattern on it. Super cute. It's like floral. It's like so summery and like spring vibe, which I'm very happy about. And I've been wanting some Pogasso pants and I only got this for $7. Um, the original price was $23, but it was on clearance for $15, which meant it was $7. So, yeah. Next was this um, white top. It looks a little like weirder through camera i don't know if you guys can tell but it's super super cute like the buttons are brown and like i feel like this would go so cute with so many things like you can dress it like very casual or you can dress it like very like professional if you wanted to but this is super cute and like i feel like it would go cute with like some wedges or something i don't know but yeah this was also seven dollars you know like i said but the original price was $18 and it was on sale for 12 so I'm so happy with this one it's so cute so the next item is this super cute black um, button-up crop top like and the material on it is like very velvety and like corduroy um, material it's super cute it came in um, two other colors too it came in like a mustard yellow and an olive green um, color and I was almost this close to like literally getting each color but I was like I don't need that I really don't need to do all that extra and I was just like you can't go wrong with black and I always like I own if you've been in my room and you've seen my clothes like I always own like fall color stuff so I was like you can't go wrong with black I don't really wear a lot of black so I was just like it's okay can't really go wrong with it but it's super cute this would go super cute with like some high-waisted jeans or pants um oh wait i forgot to mention the price so the original price for this was 20 and it was on sale for 15. next is this super cute another button up actually um it's like navy and like orange stripes and as you can see the original price for it was 20 but it was on sale for 15. If I were to wear it, I wouldn't wear it um, buttoned all the way up, a little looser, or like just not buttoned up at all. I feel like this would go super cute with like some super high-waisted jeans and like some wedges or like... It's, it's just, I feel like it's, it really depends on how you dress this, but I think it's super cute and I'll figure some type of outfit with this. The last item from Forever 21, I'm literally so excited about. Like, mind you, remember like I said, like all of these items are $7.00. And this is Forever 21 Men. And I got this super cute, like, raincoat, windbreaker jacket, like, for only $7. Like, this is so, like, this is so, like, 80, 90 vibes, you know? And, like, every time I go to the thrift store, I literally find no luck with finding these kind of vintage stuff, you know? And, like, literally, I've 
so excited about this. Like, it's so cute. You know, and like, like, girl, like, come on, $7? Like, hell yes. Literally, there was only one left, and I, like, as soon as I found out what the deal that was going on with it, I was like, I'm getting it, no doubt. Um, the only size they had was a large, so it is big, and on top of that, it's men. But that means more layers, you know? And the original price for this was like, someone text me. Okay, whatever, I'm tripping. Um, the original price for this was 35 but it was on sale for 19 So, I'm so excited about that. Um, next is from Shop Miss A. This was online. They have a store, but it's nowhere like near the Bay Area. Um, if you don't know what Shop Miss A is, it's basically like a really cheap, um, it, they sell like makeup that's like literally everything's a dollar or like a dollar fifty and they literally sell like the best beauty blenders ever like it's so soft like every time I order from them I always order around like four to six beauty blenders at once and that's what I did I ordered literally ah, Four of these beauty blenders they are so good and so soft like they're literally a dupe for the beauty blender brand here I'll like show you guys like look at like I know you can't feel it through the camera but just look how like soft this is like just by like my you know I got two of the ones that look like this one that I showed you guys and I got two of like the basic beauty blender ones that actually look like they're beauty blenders. And these are $1.50 each, but if you ever do go on um, Shamise and order some beauty blenders, I recommend only getting this one, which is the, um, it'll say like um, Paw Paw, like right here. You see that little kitten right there? It is that one. Like I heard like the Shamise actual beauty blenders are not that good and they're really hard and rough. So I wouldn't recommend that one but these are really good and they're only a dollar fifty each and i just ordered like a crease blending brush just to like hit that free shipping because it was like free shipping over like i think like ten dollars one of those but in total i spent only eleven dollars and fifteen cents the last item that I, is in this haul is from bh cosmetics so what I got was, by the way, their, um, the way that they packaged up their stuff was super, really thoughtful. I felt like, like, look at that bubble wrap, but it's so cute. It's like a big old Ziploc. Yeah, they actually put, like, all, like, the really careful, like, things in here. So, in this one, I got the BH Cosmetic Brow Palette. This is just for, like, my makeup clients and stuff, so I don't have to use, like, only one shade because I only have one shade and this one is very inclusive with the shade so I was like why not get it you know next is I got myself the BH liquid foundation I heard really good things about this but I never really bothered to buy it so then I was like why not just to like I might as well go all out on BH cosmetics so I just got this liquid foundation and I hope it's my shade it's honestly looking a little pink. Let's put it on the back of my hand. I got the shade Warm Honey. It look it said it was yellow undertones on mine, so. Mmm. Actually, it's not even pink undertone. It's a little. I think it, I'll be fine actually because I tend to go really a little lighter. Okay, you know what? I had to try this one out. This looks a little dark never mind <sighs> that's looking really orange oh no okay this might have to go next in here is um, so I got the white BH cosmetics concealer it's just to like you know cut my crease and stuff and like also for a, like a wider base for like the um, eyeshadows to be more pigmented. I got more lip liners from BH Cosmetics and then I got the shade Earth, which is like another mauve color, and then Nude. Let me do some swatches for you guys real quick. 
This is the shade Earth. I don't know if you guys can see uh, the camera's catching it. But it's super cute. It's like a really deep mauve color. This is the shade Nude right here. It is a little more brown undertone, which I like. I really love both of these colors. And when I swatched it, it seemed really creamy. So I'm pretty excited to try these. I ordered some brushes. Um, I really have been wanting to try this 7 um, Eye Essential um, brush set. And it comes with 7. And the brushes are black and gold. And I really, really like how like these are really small detailed um, eyeshadow brushes. And you can never have enough eyeshadow brushes. So I'm pretty excited to try these out. Next is, it came with like, um, I think it was like if you spend $15 or was it $25? I believe it was one of those. Then you get a free piece glitter royal, um, royal affair glitter set and it comes in this little thing and it's like sequence it has like it's like you flip it or like you it changes the colors and then the three glitter shades it comes in i'm not sure if this is pink oh wait no this is like a orange copper color glitter like, I don't know if the camera's catching it. It's like an orange copper color. And then the next one is like a brown gold black color. And then the next one is gold. This is going to be the last item from BH Cosmetics. I got the Aurora Lights brush set. I heard really good things about this brush set. It also came in a pouch. Looks like this. When you open it up, the brushes are in it. Um, it comes with 10 brushes. And they are blue. Oh, they're mint and black, which I think is so cute. And I heard, like I said, I heard really good things about this. Comes with eye brushes, face brushes. What's this one? Ooh. Super, super soft. So I'm excited to try these out. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed my first ever haul video. If you guys want more videos like this, make sure to comment down below and let me know. Um, before you guys leave, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications to see further videos. Thank you guys so much for the support, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.